I've been having the parrot for a couple of days now and I wanted to show everybody the different modes in the free flight app and um, I put the battery in the parrot just to see if it will take some power out of the battery it wasn't a hundred percent and I kept it for like two or three days locked into uh, the mainframe and we're gonna start up the parrot now and then we're going to jump to settings I need to look up the Wi-Fi for the bebop <coughs> oh no my battery is almost empty on my phone that's not good god damn it come on why are you unable to join? What? There we go. Stupid. <coughs> Alright. There we go. Onwards to free flight. <coughs> right. I want to see how much battery we have left. Alright, so the battery is still 100%. So that's a good thing. So that means if you put the battery into the parrot and you just leave it there because sometimes you just want to have it connected and be flush, not have it laying around loose. So that's actually a good thing. So now we're going to look into the settings. So this is your return to starting point. When you have a GPS, you can press this big fat house logo and then it will come back. I still have to test that out and then here we have the vertical speed and the maximum rotation speed so the vertical speed all well, it explains itself and the maximum rotation speed is when you want to turn it around your axles like like this so yeah 100 is just normal you can bump it up to uh, oh let me see you can bump it up to to, oh, I think 200. Yep, there you go. So it's really sensitive. So here we have your hull, your outdoor, your calibrate. Calibrate, you have to do the whole hull get off, man. Come on, there you go. The calibrate is just like flipping it and barrel rolling it and all that stuff and turning it around for having uh, to make it stable. And here we can have the uh, or here we have the image settings so you can fiddle around with like the color balance and everything make it lighter make it less light do a little bit with the color here you can choose um, indoor lighting come on work damn it there you go sunny outside cloudy and fluorescent lights but I always put it on automatic then we have the video mode and the photo mode you can choose your JPEG JPEG or your DNG one is with the fisheye um, intact and the other one is just normal uh, you can put in time-lapse mode uh, as well as video as photo mode so that's pretty cool uh, I haven't tested that out either so I'll just put it in photo mode I think then you can uh, choose when you want to start recording that's what we found out that's what I heard from somebody else on um, on YouTube so thanks for that tip so here we have the three modes you can choose for controlling your drone you can invert it if you want to have like the, the helicopter controls that you have in real life it's almost uh, every single time it's inverted like on battlefield and video games and everything uh, your max inclination is for when you want to drop the nose down for more speed. Uh, they say the Parrot Bebop drone can get speeds up to 40 or 50 kilometers an hour. I don't know how much it is in miles. Uh, I have my max altitude set on 5 meters, but you can put it up on 150. So that's pretty high. Uh, I'll put it on 5 again. No. Oh, it's so sensitive. Stop. There. No, no. Oh, whatever. So, 
I had it on normal right now and I can put it on ace and I can put it on joypad so first we'll look at joypad because that's like the, the normal don't ever press this button up in here because you set everything back to the factory settings so always press the left one so here we go um, this is the one I just hate it when you press the your finger on the screen I'd rather have them stuck to the screen but this is forward this is backwards this is strafe left and strafe right this is uh, of course go upwards go downwards left and right is rotation around your axle so it spins or turns in place so that's decent um, the other mode which I'm a fan of it's the one I'll choose right now. You gotta be careful where you put your finger when you're swiping this. Is normal. Normal mode. Come on. Normal mode is when you press your thumb up on this and you tilt your tablet or phone or whatever with the gyroscopes in it. And that works pretty well. This is still strafe right, strafe left, and move forward, move backwards. Um, it's really sensitive and I really like that so then you just only have to use your thumb with the sliding up and down left and right for rotation and going up or down um, and you can use your your two fingers at the same time for either flips when you have them enabled or for um, just sliding them over the screen and panning your your video as you can see so that's pretty cool as far as I know that's inverted yeah see Still a little bit slow and a little bit glitchy or buggy, but it works, it's fine. Whoa, something like that. So, now we need to go to the other one. As long as I have battery life left in my GoPro and in my uh, my phone. It's Ace. Ace, come on. So Ace is when you use your thumb on the left side and you can move the drone forward, backward, strafe left, strafe right, and use your thumb at the same time for uh, controlling it, turning it around its axles, or moving it up or down. So I haven't tried this one yet. I'll do that in a few. It's raining outside, so I can show you this outside. And then you can use your right thumb for controlling the camera, which is way more smooth than when you use it with, uh, with two fingers on the screen. But it's still, as you can see, it's still laggy a little bit. It's not fluid, it's not smooth, but whatever, I mean, don't know how to get it back in its place. Can we use double fingers? No, that's stupid. I want to have it back. Well, anyway, those are the modes you can use to control your drone. Let's see what we else, uh, what we got left. What else do we have? So, you can put in an inverted or you can put it on normal which I have and then here's your um, your whole Wi-Fi connection stuff I still don't know how this works I mean you have your 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 graph over here you can see your 2.4 gigahertz and your 5 uh, gigahertz or gigahertz or whatever and um, I just have it on auto when I fly with it and when I'm outside it should say that I have um, uh, the Netherlands instead of the United States so outdoor you can put it outdoor then oh yeah then it will calibrate it automatically and you can see your motors if they're still okay or not you can see your software you can see your last flight and your total flight time 38 minutes no errors that's because I've been really careful with this and here you have your software and your hardware again which you can see in your GPS and that's actually the whole settings menu so I hope everybody enjoyed this video thanks YouTube thanks followers thanks friends family or whatever um, take care and I hope to see y'all soon again when it's dry outside and then I can go and test the, the modes and look around on everything that was the, oh yeah, that's the map, the map button, but it's not working right now. And this is the flat trim. And that's actually it. Oh well, yeah, you got your, your record button, your photo shoot button. But as you can see, the map doesn't want to load, so.
It's ridiculous. Again, I said it. I'm sorry. But, yeah, when I'm outside, we'll have more stuff to see and stuff to do. So, like I said, thanks for watching. See y'all later.